Hi everyone, welcome to Chipride. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, use a library called a Pi Auto GUI, uh, which can actually control the cursor, uh, also the keyboard of our PC. So uh, the cursor positions can be controlled uh, using uh, the scripts. So that's what we are going to see in this video. Um, so for this, we will just need to import this. Um, um, Pi Auto GUI. If you don't have, you can just uh, install uh, Pi Auto GUI using uh, pip3 install a uh, Pi Auto GUI or pip install Pi Auto GUI. So basically, uh, we will have to import uh, Pi Auto GUI as a uh, um, um, as, as a module inside this as a library which will be used to uh, fix the cursor positions or use the um, cursor to scroll um, right click undo all actions so let's see how to do that so now we have uh, the uh, I have a basic ID that is idle here where I'm going to uh, just uh, try to import this uh, li library so for uh, installing this library you will have to install pip install py auto gui or you can use pip3 so for Python 3, you can use pip3 install py uh, auto gui. So next is um, we will have to after installing we will have to import py auto gui as cursor or whatever you name you want or just import py auto gui directly use py auto uh, and the respective uh, actions which you may want to have. So what we are going to do is py auto gui as uh, so I am trying to import this py auto gui as um, so uh, name uh, name as uh, cursor or you can have something else uh, of your wish now i'm going to name it as cursor so now uh, we can use uh, basically to know the size of the screen what we can do is just uh, try to get screen width screen uh, screen height equal to so cursor dot size so this will basically give us the screen width and uh, screen height let's uh, run this so you can see here it shows 1360 cross uh, 768 pixels so this is what is the current uh, resolution which I have set in my PC. So based on that, it will show you the output here. Now we can move the cursor to a different position. So use move to um, 100 cross 150. So let's run and see. Now you can see the cursor has moved to hundred cross um, one fifty. Maybe I'll show you again. Now I'm just going to click here, click on F five, and you can see my cursor has moved to MP five XID. Now I can bring that cursor again to something like thousand three hundred plus one fifty. Let's try what happens now. So cursor has moved to the other side. You can see here my cursor is here now or 
can bring it like 600 it goes to the now you can see it will go to the uh, right uh, no, uh, bottom corner uh, let's see how now I'm going to place it here somewhere but you can see the cursor will be moving to the right so now the cursor is here so after running so this is like it moves to the uh, right bottom corner with uh, this uh, pixel position so this is our xy position so that can be mentioned by this we can move the cursor writing the code we can just move mm, next is uh, just to scroll so for scrolling what we will do is um, we will open a pdf here so let me have the script like this so be sure that uh, we are able to place this cursor click once here then we can mark the position somewhere here so 100 150 i'll make it uh, 1200 let's see the position so it's going there on top let's bring the people down so now it is right you can see the hand symbol here so now after moving to this position we will try to click on the sheet this PDF so you can just type click so it's a right click and then you can scroll thousand let's see what happens now so it, it has clicked the PDF and uh, we are able to scroll the sheet. You observed uh, uh, this uh, sheet scroll down. So to scroll up and scroll down, you can accordingly change the value as uh, positive and negative as you see here. So see, you can observe that the screen again, the PDF sheets have scrolled. So this is how we can perform scroll and then uh, now uh, uh, what we can do is um, we can also just uh, click on a particular graphics here so where uh, I can uh, show you like you can just crop this particular uh, eraser pencil or the colors or, uh, and you can accordingly choose the colors and then you can draw something here i'll show you how it works before that i'll just also show you right click so to make a right click what you'll have to do is cursor dot click button So now scroll and then click. So you can see the right click here. So it first went to the position here and then this uh, PDF was scrolled and then there was a right click. So this was performed. Now next we can uh, just go to the other action which I was telling you. So we are going to select a particular GUI. Uh, which has been cropped uh, in the GUI, which uh, the image which has been cropped and we are going to go to the image and then uh, we, we are going to click that image and pop, or draw something on the paint so what we are going to do here is I will bring this set of code here yeah so So now uh, in this location I have an image called red.png and another image called pencil.png which is actually the red color here and the pencil here. 
so now uh, i can show you that you can you can see a pencil under it color image uh, the cropped images now what i'm going to do is um, uh, make it visible this uh, screen should have the, uh, uh, the icons visible here so that we'll be able to search for the image uh, next uh, what i'm going to do is basically in this uh, color if uh, we have to select it we'll have to have a double click so now you can see blue color is selected and pencil is not selected and red is also not selected but what this script will do is it will select the red uh, color and then it will double click so that the red color is uh, selected and then it will select the pencil to draw a square inside this paint so let's see how it works now so you can see red color has been uh, selected and then the pencil was selected and then we can see a square has been drawn so you can uh, automate uh, the um, cursor positions you can uh, automate uh, uh, some uh, like selecting these things you can automate your work using this uh, pyoto gui it's a wonderful library and then uh, thanks to the team who has uh, done it and uh, next um, next is not only that you can uh, additionally i'll show you that uh, you can also have a Mm. you can try use the keyboard uh, not only mouse you can also have keyboard actions so what i'm going to do is i'll just show you an example of keyboard also here so you can just type cursor mm. dot move to thousand two hundred or let it be thousand plus five hundred now let's see whether the position comes up in the script itself yes it is uh, coming to the script here so what next is cursor dot click and then press the dot right hello everyone interval of for every text we'll have an interval of 0.5 so now let's see how it works i'm going to run the script can see now hello everyone is being typed without my action on the keyboard so this is a wonderful tool uh, you can uh, sorry wonderful library which you can uh, try to use and to may automate your uh, ids or any tools which you want so that uh, you can easily crop the images and then you can uh, click on the icons automate any of the stuffs and uh, maybe uh, you can draw something on the paint or some somewhere or you can type something um, this will help you so you can write uh, a script accordingly so this is what i wanted to tell you in this uh, video we will meet in another video thanks for watching thanks a lot